information over the past seven days on that quadruple murder investigation in Moscow, Idaho. Tonight, we're looking back at what's happened this week and what's next for the suspect's trial. I don't necessarily like it right next to the Boys and Girls Club. You know, if there could be a different place, you know, maybe farther down. Plus, pushback against a new facility in Linwood. See why neighbors don't want the building around and why some working for the city say they didn't know it was being built. And it is going to be a damp and breezy weekend at times already starting to see some of that rain rolling across western Washington. We'll talk about why and what we can expect coming up. But we begin tonight looking back at how much has happened in the past seven days. From an arrest to a deluge of new details surrounding the murder of four students who attended the University of Idaho. The man accused of those killings, Brian Koberger, could face the death penalty, which is legal in the state of Idaho. Good evening, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Matthew Smith. And I'm Nia Wong. Looking at Koberger's charges, any one of those four counts of murder could bring him that sentence. It could also land him in prison for life with no chance at parole. Fox 13 News reporter A.J. Janivel is live for us in the newsroom. And A.J., one of the victim's parents seems to be pushing for that death penalty. Speaking to Fox News, Steve Gonzalez said as more and more evidence is revealed, he feels confidence his family will get justice. Each line gave me a little bit more confidence that um, we were in a very good position. Steve Gonzalez, father of Kaylee Gonzalez, one of the four victims in the Idaho murders, hopes the 18 pages of evidence against Koberger means closure. Affidavits unsealed this week provide answers to questions we've asked for months. Fox 13 News reported investigators found Koberger's DNA at the scene on a knife sheath. And surveillance cameras captured his car driving around the area around the time of the murders. Documents say Koberger returned to the scene of the murders just a few hours later, around 9 in the morning, according to cell phone records. Investigators saying Koberger stayed at the scene for about 10 minutes. All of this happening hours before even law enforcement arrived on scene. Investigators also say Koberger's phone pinged near the student's home at least a dozen times prior to the November murders. Gonzalez says the death penalty is the only way to bring his family justice. I, I want this case to get stronger and stronger to the point where he just, he realizes that he's not going to be on the planet that long. And through all of this, Koberger says he believes he'll be exonerated. That's according to his public defender. Matthew, Nia.